So we've just come back from Weir. I mean, we had a fantastic time out there. Thanks to Drew, got a really good selection of uh, our wild fowl. We've got our knob bill goose here, we've got a couple of those teal that we got before, and a selection of rice from the rice flour we made, I brought a little bit back with us, and I brought some brown rice back from the paddies as well. All of these birds are quite gamey. Long cooking times, take really robust sort of flavors. I'm gonna do a, a duet, the two teal, I'm gonna set aside for now. I'm gonna actually debone my goose, and then we're gonna roll it, stuff it with rice, dates, figs. Now deboning a goose is not an easy job, I would suggest you get your butcher to do it because it's quite tedious and your butcher probably doesn't have one of these. It's my Chinese chopper. Take off Mr. Nogbill's head. We're going to take off the wings or the legs. Very pleasant work, isn't it? That's why I said get your butcher to do it. These, minus the head and feet, all going to go into the oven with the carcass to make a really good stock, which will then make the, the base sauce or the base for the sauce we'll finish the dish with. Now, deboning a goose, chicken, any sort of fowl, we always start with the breast side up. You can see this goose lovely and fatty. So what we do first, either side of the breastbone, cut down, we reveal quite incredible color. So we just slowly peel the flesh back from the bone. Now, one thing about doing this is it also means that it'll cook a lot quicker. Remove the carcass. You're left with breasts, leg meat there. We now can roll the stuff exactly like a goose. It's pretty cool here, look at this. A little bit of shot from, and I guess what took this fellow out of the sky. Probably not a great thing to eat, so. Sammy, here you go, here's a present. So I've just got here some base for, for any good stock, carrots, onion, celery. Just roast it off. Now, with the teal, all I want is the breast. Take that off very carefully. I'm just gonna set aside my not built goose. Totally deboned. So I'm just gonna set that aside as well, while I clear up my mess, get on with my stuff. In it's gonna go apricots, prunes, not too many, and dates. So I'm just gonna chop those up for me. Now I've got brown rice here, par cooked. Brown rice we picked up in Wayne, and obviously my rice flour, from Mr. Moniki. I'm just gonna get a bit of butter into here. I'm gonna go wonderfully with our super fat goose. That's some super fat butter. Just some diced carrots, onions, and celery. I'm just gonna soften in the butter. Whole sprig. I'm gonna take that out later. I just want the flavor of the, ro of the rosemary to infuse in that butter and that carrots, onions, and celery. I'm gonna throw a bit of black pepper into that. I'm gonna throw a touch of garlic in there as well. Good slug of port now. Brown rice, and I'm gonna throw in some of my dates, my apricots. Throw in the prunes and toss them thoroughly. Mm. Take out my rosemary sprig now, stick that aside. Look at that, it's just delicious. Add a little bit of rice flour, it's gonna bind it all up, make it nice and thick. Just wanna to tend to my stock bones quickly. Goose fat is one of those things in the chef's world that seek out and I deglaze them with a bit of red wine. They're gonna go back in the oven. It would take about three days to make a really, really good stock from it. So I'm going to use that, but not right now. Because here's some we prepared earlier. So that's just gonna bind with the, the rice flour that's in there. So if you don't have three days to make a elaborate jus, demi glace, you can buy them in supermarkets and pack it. Alternatively, you could use a stock cube and thicken it. If you can avoid it, do just try and find the proper stuff in a, in a packet. That's the best you can get. And there you go, look at that. So my goose is gonna get stuffed. A goose onto my board, open them up, season the inside of them. A really healthy dosing of salt and pepper, really get it in there. Put a little bit of hot oil on here, large sage leaves, fry them whole. Just gonna line these into the goose here. You wanna get enough stuffing into it so it retakes its form. So you're almost replacing the bones with the stuffing. Rub a bit more salt onto the skin so it crisps up nicely. Now all we're going to do is bind it. A little loop like that. Tie it nicely. Do it a couple of times around the bird. So just got some large skewers here as well. Replace its tail feathers with skewers. So that's good to go. So the goose is going to go in the oven for about an hour and a half at about 180 degrees. While that's going on, I'm going to finish off my teal quickly. These teal breasts, as you would treat a duck breast, lots of salt. We've got a little bit of my sage oil, which we had before. Goose fat, and I don't want to overcook them. I want them to be medium rare. So I'm literally just going to sear off the skin so it gets nice and crispy. And turn them over, done. Quickly whack my till breast into the oven. My goose is cooked. And that goose is eating well. So I'll just let that rest now. And then we'll just finish off our sauce, which will be very, very simple. Just going to go with my miracle carrots, onions, celery. Quite chunky, and I don't want to cook them off too much. In there, my carrots, onions, celery. 
I'm going to hit that now with a bit of port. And now just to finish this off, just in case there aren't enough calories and heart stopping material in there, maple syrup. And that will really sweeten it and thicken it up and just give it a lovely, lovely flavour. So I've got my goose there. How good is that looking? Take out my skewers, take off the string. You can obviously give people the choice whether they want a bit of breast, a bit of leg, a bit of both. I think I'm going to take a nice slice clean through the middle here. A little bit, just medium rare towards the middle. I can't wait. Get that on our plate first. I eat that very quickly. We use these in the restaurant quite a lot. It's just a stuffed tomato. All I do, bake off a tomato, hollow it out, stuff it with breadcrumbs, parsley, a bit of parmesan, a bit of a garnish. Teal breast here. Perfectly cooked, nice and medium rare. Finish it off, a lovely maple jus. And I just got some lemon tarragon in here. And there it is. We've got our awesome goose stuffed with that lovely rice from way. We've got our rice flour in there. Our teal breast on top, which has got a slightly different texture, crispy on the outside, and that wonderful jus. It's just awesome. I can't wait to get stuck into that.